I believe that I'm already a successful teacher in my current educational field, and I can see that I can carry many of my current attributes over to the special education classroom. I see a variety of students with a variety of cognitive development levels every day. I feel that an attribute that I can carry along with me in my new career field is the power of flexibility. For any successful teacher, you must be flexible with what you are doing. Things don't always go as planned, and sometimes you have to roll with the punches. Things come up and you will have to adapt. I also feel that showing students that you are not perfect and that you are human is another attribute that is necessary to becoming a successful teacher. Sometimes I ask students to show me a new form of technology if I'm struggling with figuring out how to use it in the classroom myself. Students love to help me out. Since this is my sixth year teaching and after some reflection, I feel that ensuring I set up a system of grading and lesson planning that is organized and easy to follow is important. Over the years, I have played with several ways to do this, but every year I find myself tweaking it a little bit. So as for my first year in special education classroom, I would like to have a system that is flexible and easy to use. I would also like to work on parent communication, which I feel is key to a successful classroom in year. I would, I would, sorry, I would like to have a weekly newsletter to send to parents to let them know what units of study we are currently working on so we can implement them at home. I feel that a professional educator must behave and look the part. I use language and demonstrate skills with my students. I'm sorry, I feel like a professional educator, you must behave and look the part. I use language and demonstrate skills I wish my students would utilize on a daily basis. I follow the dress code and conduct myself in a manner that is professional. I collaborate with others on a professional level that are both within or not in my content areas. And I feel that that is very important for an educator's success.